Hey art friends, today we are going to draw a Halloween cake pop. Yeah, it's gonna be a jack-o'-lantern cake pop. If you've never had one of these before, they're like suckers, but they're made out of cake and they have frosting on the outside with a stick. Mm -hmm. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. Let's first draw a big circle for our cake pop. I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna draw it about this big. And if you want to try to draw a really perfect circle, you can use something to trace around, like a cup or a bowl. Nice job, that's a really good circle. Now let's draw the stick coming out of the bottom. I'm gonna turn my paper a little sideways or diagonal so that it's easier to pull this line straight towards my body. And then we're gonna draw another one right next to it. I'm gonna draw it this wide. That is a big cake pop. <laughs> I love it. I wish cake pops were actually that big. They're almost the size of a full cake. Oh, okay. Now let's draw uh, drips for the frosting. I'm gonna start here and draw a wavy line that comes across to the other side. And you could draw the drips different sizes. So some of the drips could be big and then some of them could be small. Nice, good job. Okay, now let's draw our pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern face. I'm gonna draw triangles for the eyes. I'm gonna draw an upside down V right here, and another upside down V on the other side. Yeah, and then let's draw a short line in on this one. Then we're gonna draw an upside down U shape, and then we're gonna draw a short line to connect to the other side. It kinda looks like an eyeball. Yeah, okay, now let's draw the same thing on the other side, short line in, and then an upside down U and then another short line to connect. Now for the jack-o'-lantern mouth, I'm gonna show you a little trick. I'm using a pencil first, and if you want to, you can do this at home also. I'm gonna draw the shape of the mouth. Now you could change the shape to be anything. It doesn't have to be the same shape that I'm drawing, but this is the guideline. So we're gonna use the pencil to make the guidelines first, like that. Do you wanna do that? Mm -hmm. Now the nice thing about using a pencil first to draw the guidelines is if you want to change any of these, you can. So instead of doing this straight across at the top, I'm gonna to change it so it comes down to match the bottom line. Then you can switch to the eraser and erase the guideline that you don't want to use anymore. Do you wanna change your line? That looks really cool. Now we're gonna switch back to our marker. And because we use the pencil to draw the general shape of the mouth, now we can add teeth, but we still have this really cool shape. So I'll show you first before you do yours. I'm gonna start here in the corner and I'm gonna draw a tooth. I'll come down, over, back up, and see how I came back to the pencil line? Then we're gonna come over here and we'll do another tooth, down, over, back up, and then connect to the other side. See how the pencil line made it a little easier to draw that mm -hmm. line so that it still goes across, but then we added the teeth. It's kind of a fun little trick, mm -hmm. especially when you're doing jack-o'-lanterns and you wanna add these extra teeth in there. Then you can erase the guidelines that you can still see going through the teeth. Now let's draw the bottom line. We'll come down on the pencil line and then right in the middle, I'm gonna add a tooth. So we'll go up, over, and down, just like we did on the top and then we'll continue tracing on top of the pencil line to the other side. Yeah, you did it. Now let's use the eraser again and we can erase the guidelines through the teeth. We're almost done with our cake pops. We still need to do one more thing. We need to color it. Yes, my favorite. We are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the end if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to speed things up? Yes. Karen, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our Halloween cake pops and they turned out awesome. I especially love yours. Well, thanks, I love yours too. <laughs> you can pause the video right now to match your same coloring. You can also color your drawings any way you want and you don't have to use the same supplies that we use. 
We used our Art for Kids Hub markers, and if you have the same set, you can use the same colors. We used 23 orange, that's the main orange that we use, and then what was the red number? 11. Yeah. And then we also used 94 brown for the cake at the bottom, and then CG1 for the gray shading on the stick. You could also add a bow on the top. Or a bat. Oh yeah, or maybe even a spider. Now we need to go buy some cake pops. Oh yeah, or we can make some with the kids. Oh, they would love that. <laughs> we hope you had fun drawing your cake pop. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.